Hello everyone, my name is Akshay and welcome to this video. In this video, I will be showing you how you can read an image uh, which is stored in any of your folders in your system using Python. So the library which we are going to use over here is OpenCV. Uh, if you have already installed OpenCV onto your system, then it will hardly take few lines of codes for you to write this program. So without wasting any further time, I'll directly go onto the code. As you can see on the screen, uh, this is the code it takes to display uh, the image which is stored in your folders. Uh, I have commented this uh, code in such a way that it is easily understood uh, if you just go through once and uh, no need to actually copy down this code. I will be mentioning the link in the description and also on the screen. So visit the link, uh, copy the code and use it uh, the way you want. So to begin with the first line, we will be importing the code itself, importing the library that is import CV2. So this is the package we are using uh, in order to display the image. Now, uh, if you have not installed the CV2 package, uh, I will show you the steps how you can go. First go to file and then settings. And over here, you will be able to find the option project interpreter under your project option. So just click on that project interpreter and on the top right hand side of the window, you'll find a plus button. So click on the plus button and over here, you will be able to search uh, for the library which you're looking for. In this case, it is OpenCV. Just click on this and click on install package. Uh, in this case, I've already installed this package, so I won't be installing it again. I'll just close this window and I'll go ahead and explain the code. In the next line, I have uh, described the path. So this is the path where my image is saved. So if you're not aware of uh, how to find out the path, I'll show you. So on the left hand side, uh, this is the image which I'm going to display. So if you want to know the path in the PyCharm ID, just right click on it. Image, uh, you'll find the option copy and then click on copy absolute path. So once you copy the, uh, once you click on copy absolute path, you will be able to find this code. So I'll just paste it again. So yes, just to confirm, yes, this is the path where the image is saved. So as you can see, if you just keep your cursor on that image, you will be able to see the image itself. So it will actually display the image, but uh, yeah. Uh, let's focus on the code on the next line. I have created an object and I've uh, written cv2.imd. So the imd is the function through which you will be able to capture that image which is stored in the path. So I mentioned the path as well, comma one. Now, if you want to, you know, display the color image, then you have to mention the value as one. And if you want to display the grayscale image, then put the value zero. I'll be showing you in this code itself uh, by changing the value to zero. But for now, let it be one. Uh, the next line, you can see uh, I am uh, writing the im show command. So this command shows the image, like it displays that image in a window. And uh, it also gives you the liberty to name the window as well. So since the name of this image is Lena, I have mentioned the name Lena over here. Uh, for name's sake, uh, we can also change title. Title will be the name which will be mentioned on top of the window once we display this image. In the next line, you see cv2 dot wait key and brackets is zero. So the reason why we are putting wait key as zero is uh, we do not want you know the file to just pop up and then close. I'll show you what will happen if we do not uh, you know mention the zero in this wait key option as well. And the last option is nothing but to destroy all the windows once you know the image is displayed. So let's that keep uh, let's keep that aside for now. So yeah. So let me run this code right now. I'll press shift control F10 and it should be yes. It displays the image. So this is the same image which was stored over here in this folder uh, in the path which I specified right now. 
and uh, apart from that yes as you can see the name of the window it is showing title this is the same name which will appear as you mentioned over here in the i show command now uh, let me close this window for now okay and i'll show you some of the possibilities in this code itself as i said if you change this a number to zero from one it will display the grayscale image let me display that so i ran that code and you can see the grayscale that is the black and white image of the uh, black and white image of the same image which you have mentioned in the path that is one thing which i wanted to show and yes this is the next thing so suppose i mention uh, weight key as one okay then or else uh, let me just comment out this code it's uh, this line okay? let me run this so you would have seen a flash on the screen that is nothing but the uh, the image itself it popped up and it went uh, the reason being you know we have not mentioned uh, the time it should stay on the screen so that's the reason we are mentioning weight key zero over here weight key zero means it's an infinite loop so the image will stay on the screen until you know we run a command or we close the window so that's why it's weight key zero so if i run this code now uh, it will stay on the screen itself until and i won't be doing anything till the image will be there until i go ahead and close the image that's how it works just change this to one again okay and one more thing if you want to display the image for example uh you know uh two seconds okay you want to display that image then uh, as i have commented over here you can mention uh the time so whatever seconds you want to mention seconds multiplied by thousand okay so since i want to display it for two seconds it would be two thousand the value would be two thousand so once i run this command the window will be open for two seconds and then it will shut down Yes, it's gone. It was just open for two seconds. And that's how the simple program works. Uh, again, the link will be there in the description. So go ahead and you can you can use this code uh, wherever you want in your project or, you know, uh, make the best use of it. Uh, if you feel this video is useful, uh, do subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. And I'll be coming up with more such videos uh, in the future. Uh, this was just the beginning. This was just the probably the first video in the complete video series of OpenCV, which I'm planning to do. So that's it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.